Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield Food Review. Today we are going to Culver's. I looked it up, there's 600 and some odd locations. I thought there was less than that because we just got ours a couple years ago. Oh. So I guess we were late to the party. Where are they from? Wisconsin? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. Culver's have a brand spanking new BLT, but it's a twist on a BLT. Because Culver's just don't do normal stuff. Actually, I know nothing about Culver's. This is Culver's new spinach artichoke chicken BLT. You can get it crispy or you can get it grilled. We got it grilled and luckily, I think we made the right choice because right afterwards we pulled to the window and she said, have you had it yet? Said, no. It's so good and the grilled one's better. So we're like, thanks, wish you told us beforehand, but I guess we just, she let us roll the dice. Oh, it was grilled because it was a little healthier. For your health. That's what this is all about. So we're gonna cut this bad boy in half. And while I do this, in case you guys missed it, uh, I'm gonna put the three other videos we've done this week alone. Guy Fieri, Peeps, and a 420 burger, because YouTube hates our guts, and did not put them out there. So, they're right here, and the links will be down below. Also, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Pretzel bun, there's your sauce, you got uh, spinach, tomato, yep, you got your good looking bacon. Then, that chicken mm, looks good. That chicken it? looks very good. Looking very juicy. Looks like they uh, marinated, marinated it. it, yeah. All right, bottoms up. Mmm. Tastes like a really good artichoke dip. Like chicken so tender and juicy. I'm guessing if you got the um, deep fried one, it probably took away from that taste a little bit. I don't think you would get the artichoke. I think all you would taste is fried chicken. Mm -hmm. I'd say, yeah, if you guys go out and get this, I'd say go with the grill. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm wipe my face with the wrapper. Just the paint on my hands. People are like, ew. I've been painting all day. I did this myself. <laughs> you get like a like a massive burst of flavors. You get the pretzel bun, which actually has almost like a, a, a salty pretzel quality to it. Cause I kept getting the salt flavor, not like overwhelming, but it actually tastes like a pretzel. Mm -hmm. It's very soft though. This taste, I like this a lot. Yeah, she was right. It's really good. So this was six bucks. Well, on the pricey side, but six bucks just for the sandwich. The meal was fourteen dollars. <laughs> I'm guessing it was probably ten or eleven dollars. I mean, it's up there. But if you're gonna spend six bucks on a really high quality sandwich, this is the one to do it on, I think. This is definitely worth, if you're gonna spend on the uh, you know upper echelon of fast food chicken sandwiches. I, guess, I mean, even Burger King summer sandwiches are six, six, seven bucks, so. Yeah. So if you're looking at a high, grading, a sliding scale of high, higher end fast food prices, this is one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had from a fast food place. That wasn't like a gimmick. I'm not into chicken sandwiches, honestly, that much, oh, but. I know you like them, I'm just, mm. I'd rather get a burger, but that's very good. And that, that is number one. So what are you going to give this? Five out of five. Woo, five out of five. Uh, me good. too. I, I actually really like it and I, and I wish we had gotten one each, but that's fine. That's how life works sometimes. But that's, I think, five out of five any day, all day, every day as well. Super good sandwich and that sauce is killer. Mm -hmm. I could just, honestly, the chicken sandwich might be okay. It's that sauce. Mm -hmm. I, think it's, I think the sandwich is probably good anyway. But, so that's what we think, guys. Listen, what do you think? Do you have a Culver's in your neighborhood? If you do, what do you get from there? Let us know in the comments below. Cheese curds. What is your, if you have a Culver's, or if you don't have one, but you wish you had one, what would you get? They're known for cheese curds, ice cream, and burgers, and all, all kinds of stuff. So let us know in the comments below what you get if you go to Culver's, or what you would get if you could. So guys, again, here's our new videos. I hope you had a chance to watch them. If not, then the, the links will be down in the description below. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that other stuff. There's tons of videos coming up. We already have like three more in the can, so they're in my butt. Oh God. It sounded weird in my can, in the can. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that other stuff. And until next time.